Hi, so welcome to our very first maths lesson. This is GCSE Maths and this is lesson one, which is on the different types of numbers that you need to know about your GCSE. Okay, so the main types of numbers are square numbers, cube numbers and triangle numbers. Then we also have different things we can do with numbers, so powers, and then multiples and factors when we're looking at our times tables. So the first is square numbers. This is just when you multiply one number by itself, so one times one or three times three, and that works with any single number. So all we do is we write the number that we're multiplying and we put a little 2 above it, that means squared. So if you see a 1 with a floating 2, like this one here, that means 1 times 1. Now we can put this in a diagram like this one over here, which we use to work out the area of a shape. So 3 times 3, that means 3 rows of 3. And so to work it out, either you can know them off by heart, or if you did 3 times 3, do three squares down and three squares across, and then you count the number of squares. So the answer to three times three, or three squared, is nine. Okay, so if we were doing this as a question, asking you to find the area of a square which is three centimetres long by three centimetres wide, the answer would be nine centimetres squared, because we're talking about area. We always use squared for area. Now, in some GCSE questions, they'll ask you to find the next number in the sequence. Quite often, that will be a square number sequence. So they'll give you, for example, 1, 4, 9, 16, and then ask you what the next question, what the next number is even in the sequence. And they'll be looking for 25 as the answer. So a cheap way to work it out is you start with your first number, and then you add 3 on. Then you add 5 to get to 9, add another 7 to get to 16, and add another 9 to get to 25. And you should keep going, adding all the odd numbers, and this will work forever. It doesn't only just go up to 121, that process will work forever. So cube numbers are similar, except now we're timing it 3 times. So 1 times 1 times 1, or 3 times 3 times 3. So instead of writing a 2 up here, we have a 3, because we've got 3 of them multiplied together. Now with this one, you can use to find the volume. So in a similar picture, we now have three rows by three columns, and we have that three times. We have this, one, and another one, two, and then another one, three. So this one still uses the volume. So if this was a question asking you to find the volume of this cube, you would do three times three times three, which gives you 27. And now the units will be centimetres cubed, if this is three centimetres by three centimetres because we use cubed when we're talking about volume. So that's squared for area, cubed for volume. The next one's the triangle numbers. These ones aren't so practical to use in everyday life, but they ask you about them in GCSE questions sometimes. So what all it is, is we build a bigger triangle with each one. So the first triangle number is one. Then we add on one extra row to our triangle. So now we have three, three circles in total. So the next triangle number is three. And we add another row and another row. So the next one after this will be 15 because we'll have an extra row of 5 on the bottom. So you've added a row of 2, then you've added a row of 3, then a row of 4. The next time we'll add a row of 5 to get 15. So again, this might be a question they ask you in your GCSE exam. Well, they'll give you 1, 3, 6, 10 and ask you what the next number will be. And you have to see that that's the sequence of triangle numbers. So prime numbers, they're the numbers that only have two factors, number one and themselves. So that means they're only in the one times table and their own times table. So for example, if you take five down here, five is in the one times table and the five times table. It's not in any other times table. Same with the elevens. The eleven is in the one times table and the eleven times table, but not any other times tables. Now the thing to remember here is that one is not a prime number because 1 is only in its own times table. It has to be in two times tables to be a prime number. It has to be in one time table and itself. So the prime numbers aren't in any time tables apart from its own and number 1. Again, there's a bit of a shortcut to finding if a number is prime. So every single prime number apart from 2 and 5 will end in 1, 3, 7 or 9. Okay, then you, once you've found that, you try to divide it by 3, and you try to divide it by 7. Now, when you divide it, but say you divide it by 3, if you get a whole number when you've divided, divided it by 3, 
that means it's not a prime number. The same as if you divide that number by 7. So to give you an example, if you choose the number 19, say, 19, if you divide it by 3, that won't give you a whole number. And 19 divided by 7 won't give you a whole number. And it does end in a 9, like this one up here. So we know that 19 is a prime number. But if we took, say, 25, 25 doesn't end in these. And if we divided 25 by 3 or 7, that doesn't work either. But because it doesn't end in a 5, I mean, because it does end in a 5, so it doesn't end in 1, 3, 7, or 9, that means that it's not a prime number. So anything that's not a prime is a multiple. In fact, some primes are also multiples, but we'll go into that later. So multiples are just the numbers in the times table. So you have 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, and so on. So the multiples of 3 are these numbers in red. So the multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and it goes like that all the way through the times tables. So the multiples of 5, for instance, would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and it just keeps going like that for every single times table. So now we work it the other way, and factors is when you go backwards. So you already have your list of multiples, and the factors of this are the ones in blue. So the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and of course 3 is a factor too. So you compare them up. So every factor can be split into two, sorry, every multiple can be split into two factors of it multiplied together. So 3 and 5 are both factors of 15.